So you can like pick a playstyle you like and then pick a character and then you might play the character very differently than someone else who has a different ideology about how to play a game. Right. And I think Aglo is a great example of someone that you should want playing your character because he plays in a really unique way. He plays really fast and like cracked. So mm -hmm. it's like you're, you're getting to see, you're getting to see Fox played in a certain style. Right. As perfectly as possible. Mm -hmm. And that means that if you're looking at Fox players in general, you just get a better, you get a better spread of all the different ways you can use this character. I think right. that's really cool. And I mean, like, Fox is, is really cool in that way because I think be a, a lot of the characters become so solved over time. Yes. That, yes. that the Fox has started to blend together. So to see outliers, like people who really are doing something very specific and very different, that's is exciting. I know, people always are like, oh, you can identify the melee player based on the footage. And then whenever they say that, they they play Mango footage. Because Mango is like one of the most unique players mm -hmm. who has ever picked up the controller. And I think that's like a common misconception, yeah, that you're getting at. We're like, no, it's not that everybody who picks up this game looks completely unique, but you have the opportunity. Yes, to be exactly, unique. exactly. And that's that's something that we should cherish. I think I, yeah. I love seeing players like like Dreffin come out. Yes, and, yes. Uh, who's doing? Who, you can always tell Dreffin, right? You can always tell like a Fro one one six. I mean, I you also always, think your roommate Moki yeah, is a great I mean, example. I was getting this to too. it too. Yeah, come on. Um, <laughs> you know, players who are just like, they're like, yes, they're fierce competitors, but they're also going to win. Like their way, whatever that yes, way might be. Yes, I also feel like Jmook is this way, yeah. um, which has I, been harder to see because he plays Sheik. I think he really brings a lot of new like, stuff to the table. Right, right. and I, I think that Eslop is too. I think, you know, as, as much as we've been talking about Aklo, uh, uh, Eslop is a super fast te like, technical player. Yeah, that's right. But really good at the Fox Ditto also. Like, one of those players who can match Aklo in the speed and in the scrap. Whoa, fan right. of shine. And, uh, you know, just, just, Really, you, you can see the expression of who he is on, on the screen. But I, I think, also, you would think, like, Aklo, you know, playing like, to frustrate people sometimes. Yeah. Might be a, a jerk. One of the nicest guys. Both yeah, of these guys. Yeah, he is the sweetest. Both these guys are sweethearts. I, uh, you know, both great. Both uh, really, really cool players to see do well. You know, it's, because, uh, you know, Aklo slumped with the first half of the year a little bit, but is very much back to form. Yeah, he's had a huge second half. Yeah, and, uh, you know, s -Bob, very quietly had an amazing year last year. I think has not recreated the highs of 2023, but... Has he traveled know, much this year, though? I not don't as much. Yeah. I, he, I know he's at Genesis. Uh, I think he's been at a couple other things, but not too much. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he's, he's just a dude with a job and living life. He comes out when he can. We'd love uh, to see it. Yeah, uh, it's, it's... He's kind of bringing... Or, sorry, Aklo, rather, is kind of bringing this back a oh. little bit. It was four <laughs> socks to two. And Thank you for that. Yeah, sorry. Jeez, I really have a special <laughs> power, don't I? I need to use uh, it intentionally. Yeah, you were born to commentate. <laughs> but um, I, I miss that kind of archetype of player, you know? Because back when I, when did you start playing? Uh, like 2018. Okay, so back in like 2014, 2015, I feel like you'd show up to your local region, your PR players, a lot of them, just dudes with, with jobs, <laughs> yeah. going to school, yep. you know, having a life. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. You know, yeah, just, yeah. Like, just like living, just like adult people. Yeah. Um, who just oh, show up? No, my oh, that's God. criminal. That is so tough. That's crazy. That is, oh, uh, he just stole that one. I like felt it bubbling oh. under the surface too. You were talking and I was like, oh, I literally feel like a disaster is about to strike. Is that imminent oh, fear? Oh my God, yeah. Um, right back to Battlefield okay. too. A classic Fox Ditto. Um, oh, the check chase. As Fop's called though. So as Fop wanted to go back to Battlefield. Right, right. Which but is you're funny buffing the New Yorker. I don't know if that's a good idea. Right, Akko yeah. is so at home. On Akko's totally going to do this every time. Oh, no, this, this, this is probably a set exclusively on Battlefield. Oh, Gohai never died. He went straight up. <laughs> and then he did the Akko. Uh, the, 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 the edge cancel? Yeah, the, the uh, edge cancel side. Be on top yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, like I was saying, like it's, it's um, I, I, you know what? I don't remember where I was at. <laughs> so we'll leave it. We'll table it. Um, we'll get back there. I know. I know it. But yeah, it's just it's it's uh, it's it's cool to see us pop out when he has when he has the time. Um, but yeah, no. Back in the day, people used to be just like right, right. be able to be balanced. But the games have been pushed so far. The yeah. People are so good. People are grinding so intently that yeah, I feel yeah. like those people like really coming up, and really showing up, like are, are like a dying breed in melee. That is actually such a good point. Like. Making an out of region good performance is like way harder because of just the floor of grinding so you need to do. High, man. That's this so game, true. People are so good now. So like jet lag, or you know, not jet lag if you're 
you know, just like kind of that travel fatigue that you get is actually way worse no. for you than it was for years sure. ago. That's because like you just have to be playing at such a high level. Like I'll say it, there was an argument on 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 uh, Reddit a couple weeks ago about if how good would 2015 Armada be? Yes, like, yeah, I'll, yeah. S I'll say it. Armada at the end of his career, really polished. Yeah. I went back and watched Apex 2015 Grand Finals. I think I win that tournament. I'll say <laughs> yeah. it. I'll say it. Armada, a 2019 Armada. Armada today probably cleans me. But look, I, I got hands for 2015. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I believed you. And I was also on the side of people who were like, you know. I don't think I could take 2015 Armada, but like preeminent could get him. Oh you yeah, know? oh easy, <laughs> easy. No, but uh, and you know, SFOP, you know, make a pretty quick work of Aklo. Aklo going to Dreamland. Yeah, that's so funny. So SFOP wanted the battlefield run back, and Aklo is not doing the New York. Could, thing. could be a DSR thing. Yeah, true. Maybe SFOP was just like, no, uh, I don't, I don't allow that. Right. Or or Aklo could also be thinking, hey, I'm the guy who like likes space. SFOP is the guy who likes breaking ankles. Yeah. Let's give me a little bit more room to work with. Let's also, do, don't you want to, like, I feel like Aklo would be the chain grabber, no? Like picking FD. Um, Isn't that a whole thing in this matchup? Like, oh, I'm the chain grabbing guy. Not maybe. I like, mean, I don't feel like SFOP is, is giving more chain grab vibes than Aklo is. No, but uh, but also sometimes, like, if you're the the, the, the guy with the, the really solid tech chase punish game, that's easier on FD. Maybe you don't yeah. want to give them the opportunity. Maybe you say, like, oh, this is going to equalize our punish game, and I think that that's where I'm going to try. Yeah, yeah. Also, if you're trying to build, play pesky, like maybe the bigger stage, the platforms to circle around a bit, take your time. Maybe those are things that you think are going to be more beneficial for you. I also have seen Aklo run away from people at great distances on this stage. That might be <laughs> no, factoring into my thoughts as well. All right, oh, just too high percent. Oh, I get so sad when that happens, where I'm holding down and then it's happens. I mean, I should know better, but come on. It's, uh, okay. Nice, got the kill. A clean lead here for us, Bob. Yeah, I mean, we did see the, the inverse in game one, though, so. Yeah, there's another case where, like, game one was so strong for Aklo, mm -hmm. and now, uh, since then, it has not felt the same. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, this, this does feel like a much slower game, though. I mean, I say as, as Bob just mashing his face into Aklo for 100%. <laughs> Yeah, like ledge dash roll backwards. You know, like that's Ooh, a that's yeah. a interesting, uh, pretty pretty defensive move from from Aqua, right? Yeah, and Asfob did like a deep overshoot that just didn't even work because Aqua was rolling in the corner. But you know, Asfob calling out Aqua's dash back there to, to clean up that stock with uh, you know, pretty nice lead. But but I mean, game one. If game one had anything to to say, like. This could go anywhere, man. I swap definitely playing a little more passive, like waiting two, three beats before making a clear approach. Which, I mean, could just be an adjustment to the kid, the player, right? I think that's a good timing against Aklo, who is also generally like passive, trying to watch what you're doing. I think like waiting, waiting, and then waiting more, and then going in. No, I, I agree. Because I, you, you just can't play your opponent's game a lot of the time, right? Ooh, misses yeah. the angle. It's like if, if you're playing a dude who's like, I want you to chase me. Yeah. You can't you can't feed into that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You have to or you you have to do it but look like you're not doing it. Yeah, right? you gotta they, bait if them. they can sniff that out, like they're gonna eat you alive. Yeah, but you can never be like, Oh, I know what they want, but I'm gonna I'm gonna win at that. No, no, never I works. mean like especially at this level, right? Yeah. Where people are, are you're getting so punished for that. But you can't take the risks. Right? I mean Aqua's tech chase is great, Aqua's punish game is great. I mean S swap also, to be clear, hits like a truck. Um but it's just like you, you can't, you can't, you don't want to risk it on that. You don't want to bet it. Ooh. A little bit of slap though. Yeah, <laughs> okay, weird pick. Not gonna kill. Uh, you know, S with the awareness, like, the, the ledge was too obvious. You know? You, yeah. You gotta set it with straight. Okay, it kills this time. <laughs> Okay, this is the first time Aklo's had a lead in a while. For sure. I, and I, I am interested is that we went back to, a little bit surprised we went back to Green Lane. Yeah, I mean, again, I was, so when Eswap counterpicked it, I was like, huh? It makes more sense to me it being Aklo's choice. True, true. I was, oh, sorry, I was, last one was Aklo's counterpick yeah, yeah. too, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I think Aklo just likes running around, man. I think so, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, Gohan never die. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's pretty good, man. I feel like it's gone. It's fallen to the wayside a little bit, like the high recovery. Yeah, because I feel like you, you see everybody going to ledge or like side B shortening or trying to edge cancel on side flat and missing. Uh, but other than that, you, I mean, I feel like the, there's like a 50-50 off. Like, is he going in side B? Is he shortening? And then is it like ledge or straight? But yeah, I going agree. High, he's going high. Is good. Oh my god, Aklo did the Aklo and then actually got a hit off it. Okay, never mind, never mind. Oh, but he countered the up smash. I love when people do that. A great little slide It's off. really hard with grab. You only have two frames to tech someone's up smash and then grab them for it. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> wow, barely. Yeah, that's close. I'm always a little bit surprised, man. It's like, I know, I know Fox up smash up air are good. They're always better than I think. I'm just, maybe it's just jealousy. Okay, this game's going more like what I would have expected from Aklo. Yeah. I mean, this is where like we see like this Aklo just trying to lead him out, right? Is it like just just slow percent? Yeah. Uh, weird little trade. Nice uh, ASDI down from Spop to, nice. to pick up the F time. These guys are just pushing buttons. Yeah, a lot other. of pressure. <laughs> okay, taking a beat. Aklo just kind of finding his way to center and then going for it. Oh, oh, gets caught. Yeah, it, it, it feels like it's a lot of like jockeying for space followed by like yeah. mashing their faces and so like resetting. Yeah, Aklo's running all the way in and then running all the way back. <laughs> it's not gonna kill. It is. Oh I my! Mean, oh, I, too soon. I told you, it's better. <laughs> they patch it. I think every game it gets stronger. I think that might be that might, that must be a comeback mechanic we didn't know about. I think so. I so. would not put it past melee to just. Have that like in the code. Rage the yeah, whole time, yeah. Who knows? It's just a 1%. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, he got mixed up. The old chain grab. Oh, oh my. Okay, that might be it. That was a, a fun. Oh. These two have both missed so many bears from ledge. I know. I know it just it doesn't always work. Okay, that, that's <laughs> what we did. Appreciate yeah, now it's happening. Setting things right in the world. Yeah, and I just uh, I just wanted a game five, so I figured I would. And we got there. I would say the right words. This is, uh, this is big. This is uh, S-Pop in another game five after we just saw him play Mario game five earlier. Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, so S-Pop might have the buff here, like, just because of that. He's like, well, I was just in the stew. Mm -hmm. I was I, just in the deep end. And you know, Akko coming off, a, it looks like a 3-1 against Agent before this. Oh, nice. And uh, so he's, you know, been, been playing a lot of effects with Fox Ditto, so we'll have to see how this... Uh, oh, no platform. It doesn't out. matter. It, it, it's oh, F F F movement, yeah, yeah FOD's weird in this matchup, man. It's like Fairweather Fountain of Dreams, like once in a while, or sorry, Fairweather FD sometimes. Yep, yep. And at other times, you know, it's, it's you get up tons of jank off these side blasts. It's a yeah. messy stage, and it's I, been scrappy. So I think it generally favors freestyle players a little more, which is which is probably why we're here. Yeah, I'm getting a stronger sense of that from S Pop for sure. Yeah, I mean, though again, as Aklo no slouch in the scrap. He's just oh yeah, yeah. Kind of, sure. you know, doesn't do it when he doesn't have to. Nice tech chase there. Uh, weird back air, but it works out. Uh, nice slide off, and now we're back to neutral. That's just crazy how often that happens to Fox. Like he just gets knocked by something, and then like bounces off the side of the side platform on the other right side of the stage. It. Yeah, oh, come on, man. Aklo going for a, a barely like like that shine so close to knocking Aklo yeah. uh, S Bob down. It'd be a caps. very different game if that hit it. But uh, S Bob with a little bit of a lead. What's it gonna do with it? Okay, just fighting out of the corner. Yeah. yeah oh, nice overshoot grab. Yeah, this oh. is S Bob's chance to prove that he uh, is just as good as we all remember. Because oh, I like that's that a big win. Aklo definitely top ten right now. So. Oh yeah. You know, Aklo stock is very high. One so of the guys to beat. This would be a huge check to cast. Yeah, because people are talking about you know maybe maybe Aklo is the next guy to win a major. But uh, you know, that's true. Honestly, at Riptide, everyone was like, oh, wait, hang on a minute. I mean, really close game five set with uh, with both Cody and Dane. Uh, yeah, but, that's right. But S swap, you know. Aklo on the back foot here. Really having something to say about that. I wonder if Aklo's gonna like go for cheese oh. or okay. That really changes things. That. You know, that's a. Uh, if you're Aklo, I'd be fist pumping if that was me. Oh, yeah. You know, a little, bit, like, a little bit of a golf one. This is all, this is war, man. Aklo's trying to hold center, but he gets clipped. Right, because can you imagine if you're Aklo, you win this, you, you are the inaugural forever in the, the annals of Wesley like, history number one, the first victor? 
I mean, he, he's big. Yeah, it'd be cool, uh, but GG's. gonna have to do it from the losers because that no man, that's I just kind of got away from him at the end there. Yeah, it's it's you know an S flop. S flop. Yeah, looking, like, looking like he hasn't missed a beat. Absolutely, you know? clutching two game fives, especially like if you're the hidden boss mm. type. Yeah, yeah, coming from Texas. Mm. I mean, I think that's, I think that's just almost as hard as what Mar, for example, is going through. Like if you're an international. Oh, easily. Yeah, like when it was Mar and Svop, I was like, oh, they're both traveling. Mm. This is tricky. But then Svop against Aklo, that's challenging. I mean, Aklo's kind of from around here. Yeah, like, I know. Like, he does he's, not have to travel far to get to this. He's not too far, yeah. yeah. And, and, I mean, no stranger to playing on big stages, right? Yeah, so, that's right. So Svop, you know, a really solid player, really good, but not somebody who has, has, has nearly as much major experience. Yeah, really exciting to see uh, him take those games, mm. making a big run. Yeah, Winner's it, run. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's huge. I will be excited to see where he ends up in the rest of the bracket. Because uh, I could not tell you. Oh, my gosh. But We've watched some good Melee today. We've, We've got a lot of, of Game 5 sets. Melee. That's great. That's what you want to see. Yeah, Calvar Goose Con was close. Yeah, game, that felt like Game 5. Yeah, I know it was Game 4. Because, I mean, Calvar was right there in it. Just, yeah. I just getting, I think, a little bit caught up in... in like Goose's wackiness. Yeah, game four, I think uh, it, it also ran away from him. Oops. You know. Uh, uh, oh, but now we got, I think that's Nanami again, that right? That is Nanami. So I wonder if we'll see Puff or Fox. Depends on the other character, no? So this is saying we're getting Aklo right back up on stage against Nanami. Whoa. That's, uh, that's tough if you're Aklo. Yeah, that is. You just, he just lost. Yeah. Am I crazy? Like, that right? is crazy. And they're just immediately back up on stage. Yeah, I kind of like that when that happens to me. But that's right. because it happens to me in, like, losers round two, you know? Right. So it's not really a, the stakes aren't as high, you might say. You might claim that. Yeah, but that, that's, that a, that's a pretty substantial upset. And we, we saw Nanami no slouch in 